According to Gold and Nazar Kinsella, a very reliable journalist, Claude Mikelele is back at Chelsea tomorrow as a young player and technical mentor. He will have a similar role to Petr Cech, but working with the loan and youth talents. As you all know, this has been very well speculated for quite some time now. And if you were to ask me, I'm totally down for it. Like I said, the more legends, the more football minds we have at this club, the better. I like the fact that we're getting all these legends back together. And we are really trying to bring back these legends to try to build that culture we had in the golden area where it was Chelsea. Like everybody had took pride in being a Chelsea player. And Makalele is another legend on the list that is set to return. Now we're just waiting on JT and uh <laughs> and Didier to return. So obviously JT is still at Aston Villa, which by the way, they're spending a lot of money and I wish them the best of luck. I hope they don't make the same mistakes that Fulham and QPR made whenever they just went and and bought a whole bunch of players, decent players, with no chemistry. I hope that's not the case because I, I want John Terry to succeed. I want all former Chelsea players and legends to, to succeed. Even now with Eden Hazard with Real Madrid, as much as... as as they've been a joke this summer, I hope they they can turn it around. I doubt it because it looks like looks like the team they don't have any chemistry or nor do they want to play for Z Zidane. Maybe they lost respect for this whole Bell saga. I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get into that. I'm gonna move on to the next story, and that is Casey Palmer has left Chelsea Football Club to join Bristol City Rovers on a permanent deal. The player has since then tweeted the following post thanking the club and his teammates. Thank you, Chelsea. Now is the right time in my career to move on. The last six years, I've been fortunate to play with some of the best players and learn from the best coaches, which has developed me into the player I am today. For this, I am truly grateful. The support I have received over the years from the staff and fans is unforgettable and makes me proud to be part of such a great club. I wish everyone involved with CFC all the best for the future. Hashtag KP45 heart emoji. But thank you, Palmer. I'm, I'm, it's unfortunate that you had to leave, but I understand, you know, players get tired of being sent on, sent on loan. They want to start their career. You know, they want to be settled. You know, they don't want to constantly be moving abroad. You know, it's, it's hard going on loan and then having to come back and then, you know, you're possibly not being looked at. You're possibly having to go back on loan. That's tough, you know. So I hope Casey Palmer, you know, hopefully Chelsea are smart enough to put a buyback clause in, in that I really – am a big advocate for teams putting buyback clauses in their, you know, players that they sell because it's such a huge, like, leverage. Like, you can have a player, like, for example, for City, you know, they, they, they sent, they, they let, they sold them, and then they, they had them, they bought them for a bargain. I don't know what the exact price was, but they pretty much got them for a steal. He had developed, he had gotten better, and it was a great move for City. And really, that should be the trend for all future deals that we do. Have buyback clauses where we can have, so we can have the leverage over any other club. Uh, I just think it's, it's so beneficial. Casey Palmer, best of luck at Bristol. I hope you kill it. And I will be watching because I will be paying close attention to all the championship games this season to find all the hidden gems because I realize the championship it's a whole lot better than people give credit for. That is that is a different level. I love the feeling of the championship. You know, championship football is it's 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 a different it's like the highest level of local football that you can get. Like there's no big, big stadiums. The the, the fans are usually into it. The the fans are usually close to the pitch. I just like the, the environment, you know. I, I I like watching that. It's not like not like the Serie A where where the stadiums are pretty much empty or it sounds empty. And it's just like, it's boring to watch. I love championship football, and I definitely will be paying close attention to all the championship players. But speaking of the championship, another player who has left Chelsea Football Club, this time on a one-year loan, is Dujon Sterling. The 19-year-old defender will join Wigan Athletic in the championship for the 2019-2020 campaign, hopefully mirroring his fellow Youth Academy graduate, Reese James, who is set to return to the first-team squad. So... Hopefully, you know, he can do the exact same thing that Reese James did, and, and that's kill it at Wigan, come back next season, ready to fight for his place on the first-team squad, and, you know, he'll be another another Youth Academy graduate that, that's been promoted to the club, and, and you know, with Aspilicueta 
you know, his time is coming up. And with Zappacosta on the way out, it will be great to see another youth academy, and another youth product come in and we can really, really focus on on building the foundation for the next five to ten years. So I'm really, really excited for uh, Dujon Sterling. Like I said, man, I'm a huge, huge fan of the championship. I love championship football. I, I, love, I enjoy the entire season. I like the aspect of the playoffs. It's just it's, it's, it's a different feel, man. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe I'm not alone on this one, but I know the championship is, is in my opinion, in many ways, it's tougher than the, than the Premier League in this sense. It's more physical, in my opinion. And it's more about and it's more about power and, and just like strength in the in the championship. That's that's why most of the teams they don't have many players that are you know f like flair type of players. They have players that are strong on the ball and physical. You know that 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 can put in a challenge. But maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe I'm wrong on that. That's just how I feel about it. You guys can feel free to disagree or not or, uh, disagree or agree with that. But that's just how I feel about it. I really do love the championship. But um, 